Vistaprint, we need to talk. Oh, how I love ordering cheap printed goods from you that get delivered in a couple of days, even the next day. Cheap, efficient, reliable. You got almost all of it right. But this, this has been frustrating me since about 2014. And in my 20s, I probably could have let this go. But as I'm entering my 30s and I get more and more grumpy every day, this sort of thing needs to be expressed. Some will say, Lloyd, this is such a weird thing to get frustrated about. Why don't you just let it go? Some will say, Lloyd, this video isn't at all relevant to your marketing business. And they'd be right. Let me tell you a story. I'm ordering a large sign for an exhibition we're doing next week, a business event. Take note of this because it's really important you understand that this is perfectly designed to be a large sign. The font on the sign is perfectly designed for a large sign. It's designed perfectly to function well as a large sign. It's just a great large sign. So why do Vistaprint constantly recommend that I get this large sign printed on ridiculous objects? Great idea, Vistaprint. Maybe I should get a hat printed so the next time I go on holiday, I can shave my face while sitting comfortably with the knowledge that if I bump into anyone in Crete that missed that business event in Kent recently, they can read the large sign on my head. Except it's not large, is it? They can only read it if they've got better eyesight than any human has ever had ever. It is possible, but highly unlikely, that this eagle-eyed potential customer might have booked the same hotel as me in Crete at exactly the same time and wants to talk to me about a potential project they want to work with me on. Or maybe if he misses my hat, he can read it on the smallest large t-shirt I've ever bought. Or my impossibly small to read pen. It's not in focus, but that's exactly what it looks like when you try to read it. Look what you've made me do, Vistaprint. You've made me buy your stupid products that don't even make sense to prove my point. You owe me 33 pounds and 35 pence, which annoyingly still seems really good value. If you're better off without me, 